Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Bassy Manager. I'm your host, Captain Betty Man FM, and I welcome you to this Football Manager 2019 experiment where we take Mike Bassy from absolutely nowhere to his dream job that is England manager. We are right in the business end of the season, and I'm going to be bringing you every single game, well, pro- nearly every single game, right from now until the end of the season. But let's just have a look how we've been getting on since we last played in the Island Games in the last episode. So we've played three games since then, and in the first game, we played a team called Konyaspor, and we beat them by five goals to three. And it was a hat-trick from Leon Karsten, which was the highlight of this game, a 9.5 in total for his rating, and goals from Tithwe and Tricol got us the victory. And we followed that up with a 4-1 victory over Kaiserspor, and it was Leon Karsten, Adam Lewis with a double, and Timothy Weir getting the fourth. And do you know what? We're on top form at the minute. We are scoring for absolute fun because we went into the last game against Allianz Sport and we smashed him by three goals to nil. Mirza Sheehan actually getting a star. That's a rarity. Playing in the last two games, getting both goals and Tricoil also adding a third as well. And it was a 3 nil victory at three points at Osmanli Sport. And that leaves us in sixth position in the league and only four points off added Ada. Yes, Spore, but they've had a game already played this single weekend that we're in already. They played on the Saturday. This is the Sunday when we pick up against our teams. That is Tiva Spore and Frenna Bache. Two absolute humongous games. And let me just show you this. If I press on the teams, it shows you right here, this right hand side of the screen, it'll say where they are sat in the league at the moment. So Tiva Spore, they're 11th. Frenna Bache, they're 2nd. So the two they're difficult games. Tiva Spore, we should be beating. They're 11th in the league, but we should be beating. We're at home against them. Frenna Bache, if we can get a draw against them, I'll be absolutely delighted but then look at the last three games of the season Adespior a fifth Riverspor they're eighth and Trabzonspor or whatever they're called are seventh and we're sat in sixth it couldn't be a harder running but also every single game there's going to be if a, if a win or a draw or a defeat is going to mean something. So it's quite hard for me to bring you whatever games. What I might do is bring you the games against Siversport and Fenerbahce and then bring you a triple header for the last three games of the season because they're going to be absolutely easy. And if we fall out of the race for Europe, then we can stop it after one of the games. But if we're in there and we get Europe on the final day or something like that, then it'll be an absolute fantastic, fantastic running. And that's all I've got to show you. So let's get straight on to the game against Siversport. And here we go. Game day is upon us. We're in absolute excellent form. They're in inconsistent at this moment in time. They did get a win against Besiktas in their last game, though. I do remember that. So it's going to be a big one. We've got to win. That's just it. We've just got to win to stay on the coattails of the team that is in fifth and in that final European spot. And this is the team we're going to go with. It's Ishmael in goal with Sonnet, Thomas and Barras at the back with Lewis on this left-hand side. With Griffin and Mirza Siran, who scored two in that last game, remember. With Coyle, Capone, Weir and Carson. It's our best 11, I think. Let's go and do this. They're going for a 4 2 three, one system. I feel like I know this player for some reason. Simone Lofazzo. Has he played for, yeah, Palermo? I was actually going to say, has he played for... Uh, someone like Verona, but it was Palermo that I was actually thinking of. And he actually played a lot in one of their seasons in the Serie A and they never really got in so much. So I feel like he's going to be one of their playmakers we're going to have to watch out for. But apart from that, I don't really know anyone else in the team. I just feel like we're going to have to get at them and we can do the bizzos. I'm going to come in there, like I've said, all season passionately say we're favourites here. Go and give the fans something to cheer. And then I'm going to come in and say calmly, I have faith in you go out there and make the difference. They get the game underway. We are shooting from left to right in our traditional black and gold. Tricol has picked up a bit of a knock on this side. He's, he's regaining his fitness now, but it was a bit of a worry. He's indicating that he wants to come off the pitch, but not happening at this moment in time. We might give it to the break and just see how we're getting on. There hasn't been a single highlight so far in this game. And Tricol has taken quite a few knocks, apparently. They are targeting him. I don't know what to do at the moment. He's, he's not like half injured. Um, and he's not injured, so he will not be going off. He's just taking a couple of knocks. Man up, lad. And we'll see where we go. But anyway, here comes Siversport. Though they put the ball into the box, they should score. And they have scored. But the first highlight of the game, it's Sabelli who put the ball into the box for Kronik. And Raddy Kronik has scored his fourth of the season. And I've just got one of those feelings today that we've been on such good form. 
feel like this could be the games that actually do us in for those last final three matches. But let's see anyway. Um, I'm just going to pause the game because we haven't done... We've done absolutely nothing. Let's just let's be completely honest with, with ourselves. I'm just going to give a bit of an encouragement onto the field. And say, come on, lads, what the hell's going off here? By doing that, here we come with a highlight of our own. Lewis puts the ball into the box. It's come off the post. And Timothy Weir has scored. I'm not quite sure what's happened. But it's it, it's one for the bloopers Christmas DVDs, believe me. Cast into Lewis, puts the ball into the box. It's hit the player. I'm not sure where Timmy Fawir touched it, if I'm going to be honest with you, but he's claiming it, and I think that's something like his 23rd of the season, and we're back in the game. It's 1-1 just on the break, and saying that, I think we're actually going to be going to the break now. There's only a couple of seconds to go, and the referee does blow up, and that is the break, and we've, we've, we've crawled it back, let's just say that. Encourage the team, absolutely. Some of them are motivated, some of them are listening very keenly, and we get the game underway. A 2-1. I don't actually care how we get the results as long as we get three points. That's the most important thing. Ten minutes gone in the second half and absolutely nothing's happened. Again, we have taken control though. Our match sets are going up. 62 minutes on the clock. Here comes Barris though. Now to Mirza. Mirza's coming forward to Andrea Capone. He brings it forward. He's looking for Timothy Weir. He finds him with an absolute killer of a ball. And Timmy Fouir just absolutely smashed it into the back of the net. Does he? No, he doesn't. VAR stopped here. Adam Lewis goes for a free kick this time. And he's saved. And Weir, can he get on the end of it? No, he can't. Hmm. Shiza. 20 minutes ago. And Tricoil has not been at the races today, has he? Uh, he hasn't got anyone on the bench. We've got Eric Ayuk, who's back from injury on the bench. And we're going to bring him onto the field. And we might get Merza off as well if we've got a central midfielder on the bench. We haven't. Murin Merkan is out injured. And so is Herbie Kane at this moment in time. So we're just going to have to go with what we've got out there. Can we bring someone on for Leon Carson? I think we actually do. He's on a 6.3 out there. Not having the best game. I think we'll go with Turkman to go on this left hand side 20 minutes to go i'm going to give them a bit of encouragement there's a corner to these guys thomas heads it away and it comes to mark yannick and griffin is oh is it a penalty it happened outside the box he's on a yellow card though i think is he or is he no no bucking at all he's not on a yellow card either so we're very 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 lucky Saying that as a highlight for the free kick, he puts it in there and he hits the side netting. Not the best, but anyway, there's a highlight and we're deep in their half at this moment in time. But they find themselves out of it quite quite easily. And they're coming forward 15 minutes ago. It's Tafer. And he finds the ball over the top and they smash it home. And this could be it. It really could be it. A three-point gap now. Ah, to the European spots. And, well, it doesn't, it's not, it's not over just yet, but, oh, God, this is a bit of a kick in the teeth. I actually said that we should be winning this match, and then we're going to play Fred Abache next. Oh, and we've been in such good form as well, I'm just going to pause the game. We haven't got a centre midfielder to bring on, he's on a 6.4, so he's having an absolute shocker out there. The team's just got to do it, the team that's out there has got to do something. And can they do it? With only five minutes left on the clock, it's Adam Lewis. If anyone can, he can. He puts the ball into the box. It comes out to Andrea Capone. He goes for the shot, and he does. It's 2-2, two -two. and we are back in this game. It's a special, special, special goal from the little magician, the little Italian, and he sticks it in there, edit away, one touch, kills it, past the goalkeeper, 2-2. Two -two. Right, come on, boys. Don't think they'll let me have another shout onto the pitch. I just paused it and it falls onto a highlight for them and I dare even look. It's right Balka and the goalkeeper didn't touch it. I'm going to pause it again. Can we get a shout on the pitch? We can. Encouragement. Six minutes plus stoppage time to go. Four minutes plus stoppage time. Sorry. Can we do something? We've scored so many late goals this season. Can we get another? The time is ticking away. It looks like we're going to settle for a draw here. We have been the better team, but probably overall, I would say that this is a draw, and it is a draw, if that makes sense. Two, two, supervisor of the players for the performance, absolutely. Got to remember, we still shouldn't be where we are. We're, we should be down in the doldrums, according to the season preview. 
Black Hole is out for one to three days and there is confirmation they hold out for a draw against us and where does that leave us in the league as the league standing is at this moment in time there is a team that can actually go above us but can't get into fifth place i'm kind of hoping i haven't actually looked yet and i'm hoping i might just wait till the end of the season i'm hoping that there's a turkish final going to be taking place that might give the sixth space an opportunity to get into europe but we've got to get six just yet so hopefully trazon spore will slip up and we can stay just within that that three point gap of Adaspur, oh, kill me now. Just looking at the Turkish Cup fixtures for the semi-finals, second legs, and Besiktas are already through to the final. So that means Besiktas, Galatasaray, or Fenerbahce could win, win a place in the Europa League. If you look at the league already, which I've just shown you, these three are in the top four and top five. That should open up a spot at the end of the season for the team that finishes sixth in the league. Well, fingers crossed anyway. So Sivaspor has actually done us a massive, massive favour because if this weekend's games before we play for an Apache, Adaspor played them and they drew nil-nil. And if you just have a quick look at the league, that leaves us four points off them. So a win for us today and we get within one point, basically. But we've just got to go and beat for an Apache who are still... They're still holding on to that title opportunity. <sighs> it's going to be a big one, isn't it? Help. Same day is upon us. We're playing in our white kit today, which is our second kit. Our Reese of is still strong there, inconsistent at this moment in time. So come on, we can still do this. Stranger things have happened on this save. This is the starting 11 we're going to be going with today. It's Ishmael and Goal, Sonna Thomas, Kore does come in for Barris after the last game. Lewis on this left side, Griffin, Mirza, Coyle, Capone, Weir and Carson. We've still got no no Merkan and we've still got, uh, yeah, Herbie Kane. Ha <laughs> ha, I've completely forgot their names then. Anyway, we're going to go. Actually, Merkan is back and I don't know whether to actually start him. Oh, I actually meant to say as well, we're actually, uh, we're actually signing Merkan on a free transfer at the end of the season. I actually prefer, I do prefer him though, That's the, that is it. My sister manager has suffered against him, and I, I'd just rather have him in the middle than I would have Mirza. So we're going to stick with him in the central pack. Let's do this. They are going for a 3-4-3 three, three system, and there's a lot of players in here that I do recognise. Obviously, Ryan Fraser is one from the England Premiership. Gilson is also in there as well. Cordova. Ah, these have got a pretty decent team, haven't they? We're up against the Christmas pudding. Let's go and do this, though, boys. I am just going to say uh, with a positive mindset, and I'm going to come in there passionate. I'm going to say let's do this for the fans we are the underdogs they seem to love it and go out there and do the business I believe in you and we get the game away we are shooting from right to left we are in our away kit of white and gold today and that's a foul immediately referee get him off there's a highlight and we didn't get on that we should have got on it twice if anything and Yumit comes through and it's a big save from uh, Ismail Seppi. 25 minutes on the clock and we've not done anything so far. Maybe that one highlight uh, also in the whole game. So tentative to kind of change anything or, or shout anything onto the pitch this year. Here comes Capone. The ball comes out to Adam Lewis. Can he get a nice little ball into the middle? He does, but Reyes does beat weird to the ball. Lewis again though. It's Murin to Griffin to Capone to Coyle who goes for the strike and the goalkeeper Berkey makes the save. And it goes after a corner and I think that will be the end of the highlight if I've played football manager enough. <laughs> and I probably haven't played football manager enough because Timothy Weir has completely smashed it into the back of the net. I obviously, sometimes... My mouth it just gets me into trouble. Anyway, Miri Merkan, I knew I should have played him, puts it to the back post, and there is Timothy Weir to fire it home in front of the Osmanli Spore fans, and that puts us within one point of the European places. Come on, Adam Lewis, can he stick it away? He goes for a second opportunity, and it goes over the bar. Half time, though, and we are literally one minute away. Do not give this ball away now. Lewis brings it forward, just keep hold of it. Capone. Gives it to Carson. Can we strike here? Manure, the falls for Capone. It's Andrea Capone. Can he get a ball into the box? He's looking for a penalty. It's a fantastic tackle, apparently. And these are now on the attack. And these score within 30 seconds of me saying to not concede. Ah, my life. Straight up the field. Two on one in the middle. And he finds... Benzia and he sticks it into the back of the net and it's 1-1.
half time is upon us and at this moment in time i'm happy with what we've been doing apart from conceding that goal right on the break that was a bit of a killer but come on we can get back into this match we can come away here with the three points we've just got to believe in ourselves and not do anything silly here comes ryan fraser though who fires it into the back of the net and Fenerbahce, within two minutes of the restart, have gone from 1-0 down to 2-1 up within about four minutes over together. Unbelievable stuff. We've gone from a winning position to a losing one. And this could be the season, ladies and gentlemen, because there is a four-point gap now between us and the team in fifth. But anyway, here we come. Mirren. Oh, and he's lost it again as Carson. The ball is pumped over the top. It's Benzia to make it free. It's a big save from the goalkeeper, though. Um, we've done nothing in this second half so far. Fraser puts the ball into the box. Weir does get the header away. It comes to Benzia. Brings it back out to Fraser. Puts the ball into the box. He's headed, and the keeper makes the good save. I'm going to give a bit of a encouraging shout-out. Um, Trey Coyle again on a 6.5. Not the best couple of games for us. I've got Eric Ayuk on the bench. Who's not the best player in the world. Oh my god. It's an absolute world of a save from the goalkeeper. And he is literally keeping us in this game. I am going to try and change up a little bit though. We are going to get Eric Ayuk on this right hand side. Because he can do it. He can do the business. He gets the opportunity. He can do the business. Eric Kane is actually back. I, I did miss him. Uh, do we get someone else on I think. At this moment in time. Everyone's playing pretty decent. I mean we are playing Fred Abachi at Fred Abachi. So we need to just be positive here. Can we get an equaliser and walk away? Here with just the point come on here we go lewis loses the ball they've absolutely battered us in the second half goes for the shot they've hit the power once again can we sneak something and there's another highlight from front of Bacci. they're trying to put the final nail in the coffin here and get the third goal can we intercept him we do comrade two two if we can he find leon carson he can carson we're going to get one chance here i've got a feeling we're going to get at least one chance it's murin Merkan. he gives it back to david griffin Griffin's got to find the right pass. He finds Capone, who's stood in the centre-half position for some reason. Get up the field, man. It gives it back to Corey. We are playing it around, but we find Adam Lewis on this left-hand side. He brings it back inside. And Murin Merkan does give the ball away, and these can now break, and they do. And it's a quick one, and it's Soner who tries to fight, catch him, and he can't catch him. And that is game, that is set, and that is match. And we have not been at the races in this 45 minutes. They have absolutely battered us. They deserve to have a hell of a lot more. It's a lovely ball over the top. I thought our right back was just about to get there, but he doesn't. And Benzia. And our fans just clap. <laughs> right. Encourage. Can we do something today? Can we get another goal? Can we do something to just make it a bit squeaky bum at the end? Here comes Murin. Murin now to Capone. It's not the best pass in the world, but we do get a little bit of a ricochet there. And then we find Adam Lewis on this left-hand side. Can he put a good ball into the box? He doesn't, and Colo does get it away. And a bit of a head tennis session there. Comes to Murin, to Carson, to Adam Lewis. Adam Lewis throws the ball, the ball into the box again. He's had the best game today as Adam Lewis again. Best player in the league, though, so far, I think, this season. Here comes Andrea Capone. Can he go for another shot at the edge of the box? Now he gives it to Ayuk. Ayuk does, and it just goes over the top of the bar. There's no point in making any subs because it's all over, and we're going to lose today, and we're going to fall on the pace for that European spot, and that is the final whistle. It is three goals to one to Fenerbahce. Nothing to be concerned about. I mean, these are a very, very, very good team, and I've told the lads, gave it your best shot. They really did. There is confirmation. We are four points off now. Adespior are in fifth position. The next game is against Adespior. Whoa, what have I just done there? Back to Adespior. At home in a week's time. And then we've got Resespor and Trazadspor. The big questions are, whatever happens this season, do I stay with Osmanli Spor? Because... This is not the Osman Lispoor save. This is a journeyman save to get Mike Bassett up the managerial ladder. And I'm just going to have a quick look while I'm just sat here. Going to job security. Is there any jobs going at the moment that would fit Mike's resume or reputation? Let's just say that. Not at the moment. We're actually at a two and a half star club with Osman Lispoor. So to get the reputation up, 
you would be looking at a three star club and I'm not saying I'm going to go to this team but it's something along these lines we need to go up in the leagues we also need to go up with the team to get the reputation up for Mike that's why we've taken the Republic of Ireland up to increase our reputation also to go around Europe and win as many trophies as possible they are doing an outstanding job with Manly Sport it would be a shame to leave too early I am in a bit of a predicament so please Give us your thoughts in the comments below. Should I stay or should I go? It's as easy as that. Oh, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We've got to play this next game against Adi Adna Spor, And then we'll see how we get on for the last two games of the season. Basically, we are now four points behind. We have to win this next game against uh, Adnia Spor. Because that will knock it to seven points. So it might be a one game episode that I bring you in the next one. We're going to come straight back for the game against these guys. And it's going to be possibly one game or it could be a triple header. <laughs> we'll just see how it goes. It just needs, it is a crunch, crunch match. I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have. If you have, give it a thumbs up, give it a tick in the corner. You know what to do. Go to my page, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications so you do not miss any uploads that I do every other day. If you're on Twitter, go and follow me at Captain Bearyman FM. And if you want to be part of a Twitter community, a football manager community, go and follow these guys, FM Creators, and ask to join their Discord channel. They will be happy to accept. They are the fastest growing football manager community out there and the best one at that. Oh, you know the drill, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in a couple of days' time for some more Mike Bassett Manager. I will see you later. Bye-bye.